What's up guys, welcome back to Black Tide TV. My name is BTAD and today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to get your campaign camos the fastest. This is a surefire way that you can get pretty much all of your kills for your campaign camos done in a single mission. And this is going to be a live commentary because I kinda of have to guide you through it. I have to be in the mission with you and bring you to the right spot. It is super, super easy to get your campaign camos done in this mission, but you have to be patient. You have to actually sit there and wait and you. You can play through the whole mission. There's a ton of enemies in the mission that you can get kills on, but you're not going to get all of your cam all of your camos done in a single mission unless you do this one little trick that I'm about to teach you guys. This is probably going to be about a 30 minute video, so uh, so strap in, get some popcorn or something, and enjoy. I'm going to go through this thing. It's going to be a live commentary. Uh, I do I am using the microphone on my computer because the microphone on the headset that I'm using that I'm that I'm using to listen to the game audio is going to be a little it, it sounds like crap and if you guys are fans of the channel if you guys have been on the channel before watching some of my live streams or some of my live other live commentary stuff you can uh, you can tell that it really does it's, it sounds like crap the microphone that I'm using so I am going to be using the computer mic which means you might hear the uh, the trigger sounds of my controller I, I apologize for that I am getting a new microphone very very soon I'm getting a USB mic and that thing's gonna sound like beast mode and uh, I can't wait to use that but until we can get into that I'm stuck basically just using my computer microphone so if the audio bothers you I'm very very sorry but it's basically what you have to work with if you want to learn how to how to get these ca campaign camos a lot faster and I'm not kidding you guys I never knew about this until I was just going through trying to get my, my Woodlands camo for the M8 and I have found like this is the best, best way in the entire game to get these campaign camos done like super quick. There's this one spot in, in a mission where the enemies just keep spawning and they just keep coming in, they keep coming in, they keep coming in and you can stand there without any risk of dying and kill hundreds and hundreds of enemies at a time. It works best for assault rifles, for S, uh, sniper rifles, for light machine guns, and some SMGs. Shotguns are not, you're not going to have any help with your shotguns in this section. Um, but for long range weapons, this is like a god tier place to be, and it's just amazing. Now, the entire mission by itself is pretty good as well. But just going to this one spot is going to be just, is going to be amazing for you getting your camos done, and I'm so excited to show you that show this to you guys. So uh, the the camos the final camo is going to take you about 650 kills. Uh, I'm at 422. We'll, I'm definitely going to hit that Woodlums camo before we're done here. Uh, the weapon I'm using today is going to be the M887. I've been trying to get this Woodlums camo so we can do a first look camos on it, and hopefully we'll see that very very soon. So we're going to be getting this camo done probably in this mission. The, I just did this mission and I got up to like I got around like 300 some kills because I wanted to get the mission done and then start again so I could show you guys this awesome spot now the mission that we're going to be playing you 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 don't need to really specify like what attachments you're gonna be using though I do highly recommend FMJ if you're gonna put on any attachment in campaign mode uh, especially if you're going for these for these just kills just getting kills on everybody I highly recommend FMJ because there are a lot of enemies that are behind like paper walls and stuff that you can shoot through and just get really really easy kills and I highly highly recommend FMJ but you don't need to use any really any attachments really just whatever you're comfortable with now for this for this mission in particular, I highly, highly recommend you use EMPs, and you're going to use Repulsor Armor. This is it, this is one of the later unlocks that you get for your TAC rig, and it is going, I think it's like, actually you unlock it like level 19 or something, or level 18, but it's going to make it so grenades and missiles and stuff that fly towards you are just going to bounce off, they're going to fly off in a different direction, you don't need to worry about getting hit by nades. So this is a very, very powerful ability, and I definitely recommend that you, you put this one on, because... This mission that we're going to do is, it's really intense, there's like a lot of enemies and there's a lot of missiles and stuff flying around and uh, it's, it can get pretty crazy. Traversal Enhancement I always use on all my classes because that's going to make you, uh, when when you upgrade it, Traversal Enhancement is basically your boost jump. So that's, that's a really good thing to have as well. Now, let's jump into this mission here and we'll see what we need to do. So in select mission... Provocation. This is the greatest mission in the entire game for getting kills. There's kills and kills and kills and kills. It's unreal how many kills you can get in this in this mission. Now, for your cybernetics core, 
Cybercore, you're definitely going to want to use. Uh, you're going to want to use your Chaos Core. I have I've gotten to level 20, so I have the multi core, so I I can't really show you that to you now. In your Cybercore, I definitely recommend. Uh, you can use the the very first ability in your chaos core is going to be non-lethal and that's something you really want to focus on when you're doing this is non-lethals you can just uh, stun your enemies you don't need to worry about that uh, about killing them with your abilities because you want to save all the kills for your weapon so you want to definitely just stun your enemies you don't want to kill them with your abilities so no don't use immolation don't use other kinds of stuff like that all you have to worry about using is your uh, there's one that the very first one in Chaos Core that will stun enemies and make their systems overload and it will like screw them over and stuff. So that's the number one ability you want to be using. You will really need to use Immolation for destroying a couple Cerberuses and stuff, but that you don't really need to worry about that in, in the long run. Now you can do this on any on any difficulty you don't need to be on hardened difficulty i'm playing on hardened just for the sake of making this interesting uh i probably will die a couple times but i don't i just don't like regular mode anymore it's too easy on regular mode but you can definitely do this on regular mode and just fly through this and get lots of kills and uh that's a that's a great idea but i i just prefer to do it on this mode so um first thing you're going to want to do is activate is activate your uh, activate your mode where you can see all the enemies. Your tack mode, uh, you definitely do not want to do this without activating tack mode. Tack mode is like your god mode uh, when it comes to your when it comes to your sensors and stuff in campaign mode. To activate tack mode, you're just gonna hit the right on the D pad, and uh, you and you'll be able to see all these like little skulls and stuff through the walls. If you haven't figured that out by now, uh, it's definitely like your number one overpowered ability for campaign mode. You can see all where all the enemies are, and it's just super great. You can just see everybody, and it just makes it super super easy to get your kills and stuff. So you're just gonna run through here. This part is going to get you a lot of kills, but this isn't this isn't the big like number one spot. Uh, it's it's definitely really effective because there's lots of enemies, but it's not the number one spot yet. We will have to go through a little bit of this mission before we can get to this great amazing spot that you can just stand at all day. But um, it's this this will get you a lot of kills as well. By the time you get to the uh, the special spot, you'll probably have about a hundred kills. Now the one crappy thing about this spot is you have to deal with about three warlords before you can get there. Warlords are like that big guy right in front of me that's about to kill me. Uh, they're really intense guys. They're really hard to kill. You have to shoot them like 9,000 times. And uh, and they can just be very, very difficult to deal with. Now, uh, you have to get through about three of them before you can get to the really awesome like special spot. Uh, that's gonna be about like 20 minutes 20 minutes into this into this gameplay um, It takes a little bit of time to get into to get into this special spot So once you get in there though, it's it's going to be totally worth it and fighting the warlords it just it's good practice for getting your headshots and stuff anyways because To take down warlords faster you, you need to aim for the head and that's just something that you should be practicing all the time Anyways, now I just got killed by a random grenade there. So that was kind of crappy I'm going to actually turn the difficulty down just for the sake of this guide. Uh, just so we can fly through this and not worry about really dying too much. And we can just kind of fly in here and get to this awesome spot. I have been playing on hard and difficulty. Uh, I, did a, I did a live stream with J-Paz the other day and we did realistic difficulty. Which was pretty intense. It's like one bullet kills you. And then ever since then, I, playing on regular difficulty is just like pathetic. But... Uh, I probably still will die even playing regular difficulty just because I'm trying to do the commentary and play at the same time. I'm never really that great at doing commentaries and playing at the same time. So yes, provocation is the mission you want to be on. This is going to get you quite a lot of kills at the at the beginning here, just running through and killing all these guys in the favela kind of area. And then you got to get through these three warlords to get to the best spot in the entire game to get your uh, to get your campaign kills. Now. Warlords are not actually that difficult to kill. You just have to be able to stun them and then keep playing. When you're using this cyber core here, the one that I'm using, uh, where you have that stun ability where you can overload their sensors, basically if the warlord's giving you a lot of pain, you can just kind of shoot him in the face, shoot him in the face when you're almost about to die, overload his systems using this cyber core ability, and then and then he'll he'll kind of be stunned, and then you can keep shooting him in the face. Now, one thing you got to do is watch your ammo when you're going through here. With even the best guns in the game, you're going to be running out of ammo like mad when you're killing all these guys. Uh, like I almost did just there. 
Now, this is why we brought FMJ. All these little paper walls and stuff are 100% shoot throughable, and uh, and it's gonna be it's gonna make your life a lot easier when you when you're trying to kill all these guys. You don't have to actually run around and try and find them all. You can just shoot them through all the walls, and it just makes it a lot easier. It's just a quality life attachment uh, that that's just gonna make your life a lot better. Now we gotta get through a couple turrets as well when we're going through here, which is no big deal at all. Uh, it's a lot easier. There are some cyber cores that can make you take control of turrets and stuff. They're going to make it a lot easier, but I recommend the Chaos Core. I think the uh, the stun abilities is a lot better uh, than just like uh, t t taking over turrets and stuff. It's not really as effective as just stunning people and stuff like that. So stunning people is going to make it a lot easier. Always resupply your ammo. Never waste uh, never waste an opportunity to resupply ammo. And always, always, always be using this ability, this this uh, this tack rig where you can just see uh, the enemies like through walls and stuff. It's just the best ability in the game. If you're not using this ability, you are crazy, or you're just trying to prove something. Like this is this is a brand new ability. It's never been in Call of Duty campaign before, uh, probably because it's like super overpowered. I don't think it'll ever be in a campaign mode again, just because it's like I said, it's just ridiculously overpowered. You can just see enemies through walls you can see what type of enemies they are it's just a really really powerful ability and you'd be ridiculous not to use it now once we get into this area up here we're going to be facing another warlord but there's going to be a ton of robots just like a ton of them like 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 six or seven of them all standing in one spot and if you don't act if you don't attack the, the robots first uh, then your teammates, the AI teammates, will take all those kills. And now, uh, although the Warlords can be a bitch to kill, and although, although you might want to focus your fire on those Warlords, you're going to want to uh, engage the robots and the other infantry first, because your your AI, as, useful at, or as useless as they may seem, they will kill a lot of enemies when you're not paying attention. So once you get up into this area here, there's going to be a ton of robots down there. Just start spraying at the robots. Uh, spray at those guys that are running away as well. And there's going to be a warlord down here to our left right there. And he's going to start engaging us. And we don't want that to happen. We're going to run away from him. We're going to try and stun him. And try and get the AI to engage him. The AI is engaging him right now. Uh, because we kind of led them over towards him. And then we ran the other direction. Don't let this sniper get you either. He's, uh, he's a little tricky guy. Now... Keep engaging that warlord. You don't want to uh, you don't want to underestimate those warlords, especially on harder difficulties. It can be really, really uh, like a big pain in the bum, and uh, you just want to keep shooting them in the face. And if you start taking too much damage, just stun them with that ability, like I told you. And they don't they don't need to be that that difficult of an enemy to kill. Now, once you get into here, you're going to have an option to go left or right. I prefer going to, going left. It provides there's a lot more cover provided on the left. And uh, it's just it's just a lot easier to do on the left. Although, and although once you pick and once you pick away, enemies will not spawn on the other side. You, you, the enemies will spawn on one side or the other, and uh, you can't you can't run left and then come back and run right and do them both. So you just they have about the same amount of resistance on either on either end. So it doesn't really matter which one you pick. Though I just prefer the left. I think the left is just easier to engage the enemies. Because there's just, it seems like there's just more cover here. It's a lot easier to engage enemies on higher difficulties and stuff. Now, drone kills do count as kills as well. This, the kills are very generic for your weapons when you're getting your weapon camos uh, in campaign mode. It, you can kill robots, you can kill infantry, you can kill drones, you can kill APCs, you can kill basically anything, and it will count as kills for your. Uh, it will count as kills towards your camos. So. Just kill everything you see. Now, as far as destroying explosives go, I'm not sure if, if you destroy an explosive, if that will count as a kill for that weapon. I just generally prefer just to shoot directly at the enemies. I think that that's a much more surefire way to uh, guarantee that you're going to get the kills on your weapons. So, um, so it's just a lot easier to shoot at enemies than to shoot than to shoot the explosives around them. Now when it comes to warlords though, you can shoot the explosives around them. It can make it a lot easier. 
See how I see how I stun the warlord there? It, it, you can stun them, but he will get back up the second you start putting bullets in him again. So the stun is definitely just so you can like reload and get prepared and keep engaging him, get into some cover before you engage him again. So this is like warlord number two, uh, three. There's one more warlord that we have to face before we can get to the special spot. And then, uh, and then we're, we're golden. Then you basically don't have to worry about going through the rest of the mission. Once I once I get there, I'm go probably going to uh, end the sh end the uh, end the video because you can just get to that area and then just skip ahead and skip to the next part of the. You can just save and quit, and it will count all those kills towards you. So this is where that repulsor technology is very helpful. All those rockets that he's shooting towards me, that APC shooting are just bouncing right off me. It's a very powerful ability. That's why it's unlocked towards the end of your leveling in the campaign mode. So it's just very, very powerful, and I highly recommend it. Now, when you come to this part and you're engaging this APC, shoot all the other enemies first because your, your teammates will take those kills from you. And then, and then attack the, uh, I guess it's the pause, not an APC, but uh, engage the pause at the end. Now, once we get into this building, this is gonna, this is where we'll find the hardest warlord to fight. He's going to, uh, he's gonna be on the second floor, and he jumps all around and follows you through this building and stuff. He's a real dick, and uh, you just kind of have to, you kind of have to live with it. But uh, you can kind of sneak up on him and try and get him uh, and run around the corner and stuff. I'm probably going to die a couple times while I'm fighting him, just because for some reason I can't figure out how to kill this, this, this friggin' warlord. Now, those two, there's, a, there's the warlord there. He's already following me. Now, this is where immolation can come in very, very handy. Oh, not for that robot. Immolation is the one that, it's another one in the Chaos Core. It will allow you to destroy robots, and you're going to want to use it on those Cerberuses that are driving around. If you don't have Repulsor Tech especially, it can be a real pain to fight these Cerberuses because they will keep launching rockets at you. So all you have to do is use your immolation and engage them. And uh, and it will just instantly kill them if you immolation those uh, if you immolate I guess those uh, those robots it will just instantly kill them it will make your life a lot a lot easier now here comes that guy he's chasing me through the building uh, on hardened I would have been dead by now for sure uh, we're gonna put on that we're gonna stun him oh maybe not I'm gonna run away here and. I'm going to get out of range where I can uh, engage him and have my AI engage him as well. For some reason, I, my my stun isn't actually engaging him, but uh, that's fine. We're going to keep moving on here. We've 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 dealt with that guy, and now we're going to we're going to keep going. We're going to get in here. Uh, we're not going to get killed by that Cerberus. I thought I killed them all. So we're going to use Immolation, and it just instantly kills them. It's very, very powerful powerful ability. It comes in the Chaos Core as well. So I highly recommend the Chaos Core. Now when you get up here, there's a ton of robots. And there's Riot Shield troops. But once we get through this part, this is going to be the very, very special part. Once you get through here, you're going to be so, so happy for clicking on this video, guys. It's going to be the easiest spot in the entire game to uh to get your to get your kills for campaign mode you can stand there all day long if you want and just keep getting kills and kills and kills and the enemies just keep coming and you can just keep getting kills it's like 10 kills at a time very very easy and uh you never have to move again when you're done getting your kills once you've counted up to like 400 or so you can just save and quit and restart the mission and come back to the same spot again that's how great this plot this this place is you don't actually have to complete missions to get the kills on your weapons, guys. You can you can get your kills and then save and quit, and then you can uh, and then you can restart and get your kills again. It's that it's that nice. It's awesome. Um, first thing you'll have to do is engage these drones. These drones will be a bitch if you're not paying attention. And now, once you kill these drones, look down here. You can kill these couple guys that are shooting up at you. He's going to he's going to tell us that there's more reinforcements coming into Cloud Cloud Mountain and let the let the uh, let the fish in the barrel begin because you can stand here and shoot these guys all day long. They're going to keep spawning back. You kill a couple of them. Now here comes the sh shotgun guy up here that keeps running down this bridge. 
And there's two guys down here, the uh, the rapid fire guys or the machine gun guys, that are going to run down there. And it's just going to they're just going to keep coming. This guy, those guys down there, those guys down there. This guy, these guys down here, these guys down here, and then wait for it. There's the other guy right there. And these guys will keep spawning as long as you shoot them. And yes, every single one of them counts as a kill. We're at 160. 161, 162, 163, 164, 165, 166, yep, 166. And they spawn again and engage them again. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Kill them, kill them, kill them. Oh, we're out of ammo. Pretty simple. We just got to, actually, I think you can run up here and grab some ammo. Here's some ammo. Just picks them up off the ground. Turn back, and they all spawn back again. And we can just keep fighting them, keep fighting them. And if you ever run out of ammo, you can run back downstairs, and you can find the uh, the ammo crates downstairs. But more robots will spawn downstairs, and they will sneak up on you, and they will be a bitch. If, they, if you're out of ammo, like completely, and you run downstairs to and grab some more, and there's robots down there, you probably will die. So just make sure you have like one clip of ammo left before you run downstairs, and uh, you're golden. You can run back down, grab some ammo, run back up, and these guys will still be here. They'll, they'll just keep spawning all day long, guys. It's unreal. It's an amazing spot. You can just stand here all day long and just get all of your campaign camos. If you have the patience to do so, if you have the patience to stand there and get your kills, it's just an amazing spot. I highly recommend it. Now, if you run up here and take down these robots, there's an ammo crate right here. That ammo crate will never run out of ammo. So you can just jump down here. And keep engaging these enemies. Just re resupply your ammo and then just stand here and wait. And just get the kills and just stand here and wait. And then when you run out of ammo again, just head back up, grab the ammo crate, and you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed learning about this trick. Uh, if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Make sure you uh, subscribe if you have not already. We're looking for 300 subscribers before January 1st. I think we need like... 14 or less now so we're it's pretty we're getting pretty close we might be able to do that 300 subscriber giveaway after all i hope you guys enter the giveaway it'll be a link in the description and definitely use this spot guys it's like the best spot in the game to get for getting your campaign kills they just keep coming and they keep coming and they keep coming it's a great spot and i highly recommend that you use it i probably already have the woodlums camel on the m8a7 so by the time i hit level 55 in this prestige on my multiplayer account We'll be seeing a first look camos on that Woodlands camo, so make sure you're looking out for that. Thanks a lot for watching this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.